the Glebcorn and welcome back to Dream Talia. Last time I explained who Sealand was. And then we kicked his tiny butt. <laughs> explained who he was after I took like a hundred guesses. You were a guesser. I mean, to be fair, if you're not aware of what micronations are, then you're not going to know. No. All right, England, that's enough. I've been listening to you try to snap him out of this whole time, but you're doing it wrong. Oh, how so? You've been yelling at everyone about why they would fall for these tricks, but have you ever thought about why they fell for them? Because Rev tricks you with kind words to force you to stay. It's that simple. It's because he offers them a chance for their dreams to come true. This is what he wants. That's why he goes through with it. Yelling at him that his dreams and wants are invalid is not how you handle it. If anything, that'll make him fight more. Wow, America, you're being tagged for, for, for once. once. We don't see that very often in Italia <laughs> or real life. Hmm. <clears throat> Remember, once I wasn't a nation either, but I looked up to you when I was growing up. I had someone to show me how everything was done. And you were also my inspiration for me to finally gain independence. You rejected Sealand, so he hasn't really had a proper role model. But maybe it's better you did. Maybe Sealand is his bastard child. And he's just rejected him. Um, I mean... In I mean, technically he is. He's basically a fort set up in the middle of the sea and then practically abandoned. I think oh, you can no. actually buy... You can buy, like... Um, you can become a duke or, like, a lady of Sealand for really cheap online. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll consider at least that. You, at least you were able to when Hatalia was releasing and fairly popular mm. at the height of its popularity. It was a running joke. With your constant negative encouragement, he would end up as bitter as you. <laughs> America. Sure, he's a kid and he's excited about being a nation someday. That's a good thing. Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> It's good that he is with those two Nordics now. Maybe they can be the right loving family he needs to grow up into a proper nation of his own. Oh, so they adopted Sweden him, that's cute. Yeah. yeah, and so like, Sweden and Sweden's his dad, Finland's his mom. Aww. Because of the whole wife thing. Mm -hmm. um, wife? Sorry, reference. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Denmark's his uncle. Norway is... I guess Norway, Denmark, and Iceland are technically his uncles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They have a nice little happy family dynamic going on. Aww. I, for one, believe in Sealand being a nation someday. No, you, no, you don't. Don't. That is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. I, as do I. I know what it's like to be ignored, to be told you'll never amount to anything. A lot of the time, it being by you, England. England is such a bitch. And look where I am now. Sealand, you will be a great nation someday. No, you won't. <laughs> Just give it some time. You won't be able to become one trapped here. Come back to us. Your Majesty, are you really going to trust these strangers who have just attacked you? I mean, one of them is England. They're probably lying to make you happy and leave this place. You're the liar. And yet another who's the liar back and forth. Good grief. You're just lucky your own micronation's not here. Hmm? But appreciative subpoena to gallery would keep quiet. <laughs> See. Star, tell me, what have you done to make you a nation? Hmm? Oh, that's easy. I have the paperwork and I have my royal families. Oh, honey. Feeling oh. honey. Everything needed to be considered a nation, along with being considered one by my peers. They agree I'm a nation. 
then I am one. And he's the best at it. The greatest nation ever. That's not how you become a nation. It's not that simple. Huh? That's what being a nation for you is about. Being noticed by other nations. Because I can promise you that is the last thing on a nation's mind when their people are being torn apart by famine, disease, and war. Until you've clawed your way to the top, you will be letting your children down every time you pretend you're a real nation in this dream world. Famine? Disease? War? But none of this happens here. I can be a great nation without those. Yes, that's right. It's a perfect world here. No one is ever sad or hungry or hurt here. It's a perfect land to rule over here. Nice. Oh, no. Hmm. Well... Baby. What does it really mean to be a nation, other than ruling over a kingdom? Well... Uh, uh, you are ones made of rock, steel and people. Man must be the station of the land and its culture. You are chained to the whims of it and so on. And what does that mean for me? Well, um, in this case, I suppose since you're here and not out there, you're mostly like a king. Uh... Out there? Here's your answer. Only a true nation will be able to answer your question. And that man cannot. You see, Sealand, he's lying to you. What you have right now is a farce. You're not a real nation. Not yet. Come with us. At least in the real world, you have the chance to become a real nation. But I can be the best nation I can be here without all of that. I don't want to go to a world where bloodshed is the only way I can be a nation. No, oh, no, Sealand, you don't understand. It's not about having killed people. It's about paying your dues. You can't just sign papers and bind thousands of people together. You have to fight for it. You have to make yourself strong enough to stand up against the world because that's what you'll be fighting for the rest of your life. Paper doesn't give you that kind of strength. Then what do I do? What can I do? Leave this world. It's not real. Your people, your real people, are waiting for you out in the real world, and you can't let them down. This is another obstacle in your journey of becoming a nation. Either come overcome it, or forever stay a nameless fort in the middle of an ocean. I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? Yes, you do! You can make the right choice and stay here, where you're a real nation without being hurt by outsiders and without having to bleed. I want to, but things like this are always nice. I have to become a nation, not just dream about it. Stop. Please, can't we talk about this? No, that's not me anymore. I'm not a star. I'm Sealand, soon to be the greatest nation ever. Baby! He back! Hey, it's that kid. Hi, Squat. Hi! Oh, he's adorable! So I'll, I'll be honest, the Sealand is one of my least favourite nations, but he is very cute. Mmm. Sealand has joined the party. No. Glad to have you back. Glad to be back, jerk. <laughs> he's going to cry again! He looks lost. Is he going to attack us again? Be ready for him. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> he be midnight. Oh god. Oh, he's oh going that's for Germany, Germany, but it's tech. <clears throat> Do you, do you want me to do it as Germany? Because it's technically Rev. Yeah, you, you, you do Rev Germany. Okay. Good. 
Take him. Take away every friend I have. I don't care. You know why? Because just a few pints of air, my best, 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 best friend Italy is there. Waiting for me. Best friends don't just leave. So take the disobedient ones. More Italy for me. That, that's, that's weird. You bastards! Poof. <laughs> That's Germany. Damn it! I almost had him. It was being a bit slow to load on my end. God damn it! Oh crap! Our battleship's getting sunk. Isn't that supposed to be here to get us out? I told you it wasn't to be trusted. They're sitting summer ducks. Everyone group together, quickly! Sploosh! Oh, nice job grouping together, idiots! <laughs> and some, somehow they've all been split up by family apart from Russia and Austria. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jeez. Is everyone alright? We, oui, I'm fine. A little bit, but I'm alright. America and I are okay. Whoa! Let's do that again! You fool! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hmm. I'm fine. Oh, sorry. We are also okay. What he said. Ugh. Esto bien. Is it really that laggy? A little bit. What the fuck do we do now? We've been abandoned in the middle of the fucking ocean. I'm really sorry, everyone. I, I didn't mean. It's all right, Zealand. You believed what he wanted you to believe. You couldn't tell this. But now what? Hey, do you all hear something? No. This? Ah. He said, mm, I think I do. That was wrong. Sorry. Wait. 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 I, I know those bells. Oh god, no! What? Bells? What? Is it really? It's Finland. Oh, it's the bastard! What? Hey, everyone. It's Finland. It's Finland. The what? You d you were Finland. You were yes, I know it was Finland. I'm trying to do Finland. Hey, everyone! Oh my God, you guys look up there! Oh my God! Let's see how Finland goes for us. There he is. Okay. Give me a second. I finally found all of you. Ah. Uh, Looks like just the nick of time. That's better. Finland! Hi! What's he doing here? Christ on a bike, it's about bloody time we have the first one with us. Finland! Could you please get oh, us out of here? Yeah, because we've seen him first and we haven't seen him since. <laughs> sure, sure. I'll be done. I'll be down now in a moment and take you back to shore. I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Yes, <laughs> you're getting there. He's a Christmas miracle. Moi moi. Aha! I'm so happy you're safe, Sinland. I didn't even know you were here. I didn't know you were here either. Is Sweden here too? I don't think so. Don't worry, he's, he's, he's not. He was looking after your body very carefully the last time I saw him. Phew, thank goodness. Well, 
What should we do now? Death has disappeared on us and we still don't know where the getaway is. Hmm. No. He's here. There he is! Oh, I forgot he was a butterfly. I'm are you dead? You're dead. You're made it back alive. I'm dead. Yeah. yeah, you are dead. Made it back alive. Yeah, no thanks to you. I led, I led Jerry to your location, did I not? What? Uh. It's true. This little guy showed up and he way over here. That's, that's just like, well, I did this, didn't I? <laughs> uh, sorry for doubting you, I guess. It is fine. What matters now is that I'm back, and with seeing Star back in his original form, the gateway should be accessible now. Carry it? Would you mind taking us out to sea? My sleigh? Sure. Hmm, why wouldn't you be able to transport <laughs> us there? You'll see when we get there. Hmm. Austria, Romana, Zealand, Spain. Ugh. Austria, the Manor, Zealand, Spain, all the people we've rescued. You should all stay behind once we pass the gateway. As Beth said, whoever's at his strongest there, and we aren't the nicest it is. Yeah, but sure you need as much men as many people as you can get fighting him? We'll only be fighting with four people. I know, but still... Aside from England, Germany, France and Japan, the rest can go. Okay, okay. I was just thinking. We don't want to risk anyone getting severely injured and not able to return. But we want to help. I understand <clears> that, <throat> but it's just too dangerous. We will be safe in the media. No way! I came in here to head fight, and I'm going to do just that. Despite not being able to do much, I'm adamant about staying with the group as well. The Canada. I know you almost lost me, but I want to make sure I don't lose you. Come on, Vess, let's kick that thing ass as a team. They don't mess with our Italy and get away with it. Mm. Oh All right, you can come. <laughs> I hate Prussia. <laughs> I hate him so much. You two, Canada, let's show him why the North American twins are the best brothers. Wait, they're twins? Yeah. I thought it was a younger brother, and that's why he beat him down so much. Well, I, I mean, technically, I think Canada's a younger twin, but they're technically they're, te they're twins. Oh, okay, fair enough. Like, <laughs> despite the fact that you can very obviously tell the difference between them, um, Canada gets beat upon a lot because of how much he resembles America in the oh, show. Okay, fair. Like, Cuba properly has beaten him to a pulp because he thinks he's America. Oh no, poor Canada. I know, it's sad. Mm -hmm. Spin, you should come too. Take charge with your awesome trio. As fun as it sounds, amigo, I don't think I'm, I'm going to stay behind. Someone has to watch over everyone in the journey back. Ah, lame. Thank you, Spain. No problem. Besides, I got to make sure no hermanos, okay? Um. <laughs> okay, so I take all of you the way there and then come back here, right? My accent Correct. is getting better. <laughs> it's better than it was in the first time you did Finland. That the was first appalling. time I did Finland, I was all over the place. Okay. <laughs> you were doing France, you were doing, I think you went to American. I did. <laughs> Russian, it was fun. Um, okay, I might as well do this now. Since you guys are going to a faraway place, here, take this. Hmm? What are these? It's a transportation orb. Just throw it in the ground and it will open a portal to wherever I am. These are only two of these, so use them wisely. So, if things get too crazy and you need to come back, or if you need something from us, feel free to come back. That can come in handy. Did you get these? A very nice Poland named named priestess showed me how to make them. That's. I had, I had to get the ingredients myself for them, but it was pretty easy. 
He used one himself last time I saw him. I wonder where he is now. Doing Poland things. Oh, so that is what you are doing uh, with getting those ingredients from a friend. (laughs) I got the ingredients in Spanish. (laughs) I thought it was taking longer than usual for you to come join us. Well, that is a relief at least. And certainly a mystery solved. Yes, and it explains how he seemed to show up out of the blue and how he seemed to get away from the church in time without us seeing him. Mm-hmm. But then that still leaves the mystery of where the world disappeared to. Let's hope that mistress says unsolved. Yeah, might be best. Okay, everyone. Let's gather into this lake. Everyone else just stay put. I'll be back soon. But, but... No buts. Stay here, like a good boy. From what I've seen, Finland kicks ass in the next game. It's so cool. But I'll miss you. Oh, oh, she learned. I'll miss you too. You won't be alone, and I'll be back here before you know it. Okay. But yes, we should be off. Yes, we should, because I want to save and end the episode. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. I hope you find Italy. Don't die, jerk. If you fuck this up, I will kill you. <laughs> oh, Romano, you kid. They are not going to fail. Good luck. Safe travels to the median. We hope to see you on the other side soon. Moi moi. Can we say? <laughs> I think this whole pretty much... I think pretty much this entire episode has been a cutscene. It has, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. We travelled across the ocean for what seemed like forever. Everyone was silent, so there was really nothing more to say. We were almost to the fortress where the creature resided, and to be able to find a city, we just had to find a gateway to it first. Here. It's right here. Huh? This place looks the exact same as the rest of this stupid ocean. Pressure. Shush. Let him talk. There. That should do it. Ooh. That is the gateway. If the (laughs) angels over there would stop singing, because they're very annoying. Mon dieu. That maelstrom is enormous. That explains why you couldn't teleport there. Sploosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, here we go again. And how, how are we going to get in there? I can't read. read. I can't read. We jump in. That sounds a little dangerous. Hiya. Would they even survive the fall? Landing in water would probably be safer than landing in snow. It depends what height they're at. Mm. I mean, I mean, it is canon that Russia practically broke every bone in his body jumping out of the plane without a parachute because he thought the snow would break his fall. Russia, you idiot! That's something canon. <laughs> Hopefully you're not just tricking us to kill us like Romano was thinking. What do you think, Germany? Hmm. Germany? Oh, is he doing his thing? He seems to have the right idea. Follow us. You better be bloody right about this. I'll be there to save you if you start to drown. (laughs) Allons-y! Charge! I'm getting too old for this. It'll be just like skydiving. (laughs) Haha, no! Russia. Russia! Geronimo! America, wait for me! Did I come? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, look at look at Japan! He's just like, ugh, why? I what are we I, doing? I wish you all luck. Be safe. <laughs> He's just there face palming. Italy, uh, almost there. Please hold on just a little longer. 
<laughs> oh, Germany, you babe. Can I save now, please? Please! <laughs> please! No, you can't save! <laughs> Uh, hello? Anyone there? So this is a subconscious level. It's much darker than I thought. Then again, if Italy's mind was bright and cheery on the forefront, I suppose it is possible there's a lot of darkness under all of it. Anyway, I should go and find the others. Yes! Let me stay! Save the bee! Right, on that note, we're gonna end things there. How crazy was that? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we seem to have lost every member of our party. Um. We have, but we're gonna get them back, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps give it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow for whatever we're playing, because I don't know how long Laura Charlotte is... Well, it's still going to be Hell of Charlotte anyway, because this is that game. Kill me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.